What's up you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Grady and I listen to country music and whatever else I want to. And today I'm gonna to be reviewing the new album Magnolia from Randy Hauser. Now Randy Hauser is someone that, you know, in, in my time really thinking critically about country music, which has been since about like 2012, is not someone that I've been like totally impressed with. He has an amazing voice, but he was sort of emblematic of the bro country era that so many people have reviled, and there's been a lot of ink spilled, a lot of it by me, about that time in country music with derivative lyrics and sound, and it all kind of ran together into a stew of just boringness, honestly, that was covered up by a lot of uh, stupid machismo. So Randy Hauser, you know, I I've never taken him that seriously though i know a lot of his fans have said like oh you should check out his earlier stuff though stuff before we went black pontiac with a pocket of cash stuff before goodbye kiss My lips, your lips. and stuff before running out of moonlight Me and you, girl, running out of moonlight. but i hadn't really and so i came into listening to magnolia his newest album maybe a little bit skeptical and let me tell you, this album knocked my socks off. I am so, so glad he released it. It is a comeback album of comeback albums and an, al an album that immediately makes me, you know, forget all of the judgment that I had toward his output for the last five years and instead has really made me take him seriously and admire him as an artist. I think it is really, really an incredible return to form and something that's absolutely deserving of your attention. I made it up to Nashville, played the park. The very first lyric on this record, the very first words out of his mouth on a song called No Stone Unturned are the words, I made it up to Nashville, played the part. I took a broken guitar through the heart. So there's some regret addressed immediately about, I don't stand by necessarily the music that I've made in Nashville and, and what I've done over the past few years. And it's just kind of inviting you right off the bat into a different, more earnest, honest version of Randy Hauser, and it's so appealing to listen to. The sound of this record is so rich. It really captures, he's from Mississippi, and it captures kind of this bayou feel. It's got all the shades of the blues, and it is a perfect platform for his voice, which is very strong. He can really belt, and he's created an album that is a platform for him to be able to do that, that's stuffed full of really, really good songs. In some ways, this album reminds me a lot of the Brothers Osborne's Port St. Joe. It's got kind of this mix of naughtiness and sincerity, except whereas that album is more about kind of the fun, naughty side of things, and John Osborne actually co-writes one of the songs on here, I would say that Magnolia is more of an album about searching. There's a lot of themes on this album of running away, looking for yourself, and trying to lean into this man that you haven't been but want to be. And the sound of it is so good. It's really, really so good. Randy Hauser co-produced this with Keith Gaddis, and you guys should keep working together. Uh, I don't know who did what on the album, but it's a really good mix. It's a really good sound, and it really emphasizes the guitar and harmonica and organ and uh, steel, and it just sounds really rich, and I feel like you get those bluesy tones that you want. You feel like you're driving uh, through the deep, swampy south sometimes, and you feel that kind of rich, heartland, uh, road trip kind of sound that's really suited to his voice. I would almost call this a prehab album, because I think that there is a lot of references all through it to substance use bordering on substance abuse. Sometimes there's just the pure revelry and puffing up some smoke or drinking too much on songs like New Buzz or on High Time, but more often they're those sort of moments of revelry are tinged by a little bit of the self-aware, self-loathing kind of feeling, like on What Whiskey Does, the lead single of this album, where it's a really good song, I have a reaction to it on this channel, where he says, maybe it'll take me to a better place and put a smile back on my face. Maybe it'll make me hate myself or fall in love with somebody else. But I'm gonna light one up and sit right here. So it's not just this pure, simple love of imbibing too much or smoking too much. There's a way in which Randy Hauser adds just the right amount of self-awareness that make those lyrics really interesting to me and show that there's a real angst inside of him that creates some of the themes of 
running on this album and and going and and the kind of turmoil in his soul that I think make it a really good album that's captured on No Stone Unturned which is maybe one of my favorite songs on this record and it's about uh, you know I quoted at the very beginning how he went to Nashville and played the part but there's a really great couplet in the chorus of this song where he says I can always find one hell of a time while I'm out here looking for me no stone unturned no turn on stone so it's about how he has this desire for adventure and to go and then you get that kind of sad no turn on stone every place that he's turned to he's ended up being in this kind of uh, wild stone sort of place it's got to be my favorite dallas davidson co-write ever i've never been especially kind to dallas davidson but i really like that song and I think it's interesting that the album opens with this theme of travel, of no stone unturned, no turn on stone, and it closes with that as well on Evangeline, which is a great song. It sounds so bluesy and cool, and that whole kind of gentle, take me down to the Mississippi, da -da. like he, it feels kind of patient, like it's almost moving like a steamboat, and but it's a healthier version of travel because he's showing this woman, like, let me show you the place that gave you your name which I think is a really cool lyric because I guess he's gotten married, she has his name now, and he wants to show her his hometown. That's a really beautiful lyric, and I think it's a healthier version of Travel, so he's ending the album on a, in a better spot than he started the album in, if that makes sense. My favorite song on the whole album, though, is just a vocal showcase, and it's called No Good Place to Cry. I'm way too weak for this is a real moment on this record, and it's about how, it's almost like Cry Pretty by Carrie Underwood. There's no good place to have a breakdown and cry, and sometimes he just wants to isolate and be alone and not process his emotions, and he says there's no good place to cry in a really belty, awesome song. They don't wanna see these tears in my eyes. There are a few songs on here that I don't love as much that just feel juvenile compared to the rest of the record. Mama Don't Know is one of those. There's another song on here called New Buzz, and, and maybe they just feel frivolous in comparison with the rest of this record because the rest of this record feels so much more mature that it's harder to take those seriously in the context of the record. Although other songs like Whole Lotta Quit, that's a really, really fun song. And the whole album, the vibe of it is just good. It sounds good. You can tell he's excited that he's gotten to make it. It feels cool and rocking and strong. I mean, if you go to Spotify and look up this album, which I recommend you do, you're going to see a picture of Randy Hauser. And if you've never listened to him before, just disregard this picture because it's not representative of the record that's there. He's not a guy, at least not anymore, that is trying to chase anything, that's trying to sound like Sam Hunt, that's trying to be some like swagged out metro kind of dude out in Nashville. He's made something really rich and cool and his own. And I think it's admirable. I think it's really admirable. I think Magnolia is an album about an artist that has a little bit, after some kind of ter time of turmoil, found himself. And he's having the confidence to lean into having found himself and do it more and more. I think putting out this record, putting out what Whiskey does as a single, putting out No Stone Unturned as his last music video, is representative of an artist that is no longer going to be someone he doesn't want to be, and is instead going to stand up and say what he thinks, reveal his soul, and make it sound the way he wants it to sound. And I'm so proud of him for doing that, so it, it feels weird to be this like affirming to an artist in a review but i am grading on a curve here because i was so like i didn't take randy hauser seriously and so i think to see him take himself seriously there's something inspirational in that and this record has tons of good songs it sounds nice so i've said that 45 times but i think it's a compelling album i'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 because I think it's really, really strong. My favorite tracks are No Stone Unturned, No Good Place to Cry, and probably Evangeline. But I think there's a ton of good songs on here. The idea that is encapsulated on Running Man, that he's been running and running, I feel like he might have been running from something, and this album is the transition where he's running to something instead. And that's cool to listen to. So I would love if you guys checked out this record and I think you'll like it. I think it's immediately an album of the year, kind of best of contender. And... 
quite a statement to make. So check this album out. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll be back with more videos very soon.